adding the ricochet effect can change how fast you play in repetitions, giving you the power to mash buttons with superhuman speed. Here's how it works. Play a note, and when you release it, it'll trigger another note that's the same length. I think of this as a ricochet effect. When you're playing in live, this essentially lets you play twice the number of notes at the same time. And if you play in chords, they'll each repeat in sync with each other. And if you change the number of repetitions beyond two, you'll get more notes added to the end. Once you get it under your fingers, it's actually really fun to play. Like, you could perform your own drum rolls with one finger. Using a MIDI capture tool, like Grumpy Monkey's free utility note taker, you could record the notes and drag them into your piano roll for further tweaks. Some situations where you might want to use ricochet, brass and woodwinds, like playing in quick reps, shakers, castanets, and instruments that idiomatically play in doubles and triples, tremolo for guitar, or for malleted instruments. Also, it's just fun to throw on instruments and mash the keys. If we go into the menu, there's a couple options to enable and disable the plugin. I'm going to go ahead and set that to mod wheel. So now the plugin can just hang out on our instrument and have no effect. And then when we want to have repetitions, just raise the mod wheel. By clicking and dragging on the lights, we can raise and lower the velocity of each note in the repetition. We go from 0 up to 100. or down to minus 100, uh, and this is percent. One other thing, if you're using the plugin on an instrument with key switches, you can open the menu and control the active range of the plugin. So everything above and below won't be affected by the plugin, and you would use this to make sure that your key switches don't get repeated. <laughs> 